Good morning, y'all. It is 9.45. I've been up since 9 a.m. Hitting that alarm clock. And I finally decided to get up because I know I had some very, very important things to take care of this morning again. So sadly and very unfortunately, I did not get the apartment number two that I was looking at in the previous I'm moving vlog. So therefore, you know what I gotta do? Keep looking, stay positive, and stay prayed up. So now I am on my way to see three more listings. And um, of course, I'm taking y'all on the ride along. So I'm glad that y'all are back watching this vlog. Let's get into it. What's up, you guys? Oh my god, my forehead looks like humongous because forehead looks humongous because my hair is behind my ears. I didn't get a chance to straighten my hair this morning. I look a mess, you guys. So just bear with me today. Um, and my voice is kind of just like a little rusty because I just woke up, like I said. We were at this first listing. It is a home, it's a house in the neighborhood. Uh, the neighborhood is kind of, uh, but okay. Walking into it. Today's clean room. I'm not too crazy about the floor. It reminds me of like a school almost, or just like a corporate building. First, we're gonna see this closet. The bathroom. I know. I know. It's a little, little dated. Not fan of it either. Try to update the sink and the toilet though. Gotta get on that. We have a room right here. Okay, we'll stay on. And this is a room right before, right beside the front door. With the closet, two windows. And then this bathroom, that is a little colorful also. So I'm putting down a fan of the dorm room shower. Walk in, walk in, walk in. This is a good size living room. We uh, walk into the dining room and the kitchen. And with that, different color appliances is definitely weird, but they're clean. Ooh. And that is leaking. Maybe it was some water on the inside. Yeah, I think it was just in there. Anyway, so let's keep it moving. Over oh, to like, like another living room den, chill area, backyard window, backyard sliding door. On to the laundry room. I'm not sure if I will have to supply my own washing machine and dryer. We we'll have to check on that. And then they converted the garage into an extra bedroom, which is very nice. Which is for throughout the entire house. And then the closet. Once again, my phone is going to be a little shaky because it is on the car mount and I am currently driving. So, that first house, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. My realtor, she asked me basically once I had finished filming and she was, you know what I'm saying? She was like, how do you feel about this house? And I'm like, girl, them bathrooms. No, ma'am, and Dan is just like that floor. First of all, it's the neighborhood, the way the yard looks. The bathrooms, um, the floor, 
the backyard, the gate, the fence, the washing machine and dryer not being there. You know, like that's just too many things to worry about. And um, the price was definitely decent for the amount of house that you got. But for how much it needed to be updated and kept up and clean, it won't for me because, it, you know what I'm saying, I just said about 10 things that I did that didn't sit well with me. So, I wouldn't feel comfortable paying on something that I'm not even comfortable with. So, house number one is definitely out. It's definitely out, y'all. Let's keep these fingers crossed. Because, honey... I need, I need, I need some real luck right now. I need some real luck. We got two more places to go. Y'all, let me tell y'all, we just left the second listing. And no, baby, no. No, baby, no. No. Like, you had to drive through this housing development first to get to the, the other neighborhood. And baby, it was like once you crossed that little line, it was Hood Central. It was South Central. South Central. It was Compton. Like we went from Melrose to like Compton. Like jumping over a line. <laughs> like, oh no. My realtor, we didn't even get out of the car. She made a U-turn, like she made like a little turn so her car could face mine. Got out the car barely, looked at me, and I looked, rolled that window down and looked at her like. No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, we gotta go. <laughs> gotta get. And she was like, I you know what I'm talking. I started talking about apartments and looking at stuff like that. And she was like, okay, well, there's not any, um, there's a lot of apartment complexes that work with realtors, but the ones near here are duplexes. And she was like, they not, they not good. And I was like, she said she don't want me staying in the type of place. And I'm like, girl, I ain't about to settle. I am not no settling person, honey, especially now when it comes to my bread. And... I said, girl, I was looking at these chaps out here. When we turned down the street, they all hanging off the porch and sitting on the porch. I said, girl, these damn kids would be done walk, broke into my damn house and robbed me. I said, we got to go. Honey. Honey. Hey. Y'all, like, when I tell y'all that shit was so funny just now, like, girl, where are we? <laughs> we headed to the last listing y'all and to say the least this search has been very short today <laughs> like i'm not even upset or like like disappointed because it just show you like people live so differently y'all it don't make no sense and i ain't putting i ain't putting nobody down that live in the hood you know what i'm saying but that ain't for me. I make too much money to live in the hood. You feel me? So I'm good on that. On to the third listing. <laughs> Hi, you guys. We are at the third listing, and um, the third listing is right off a road. It's not super loud in the inside, but from the outside, it is loud. This is like the super, super cutest, cutest cottage looking home, and I've always, always wanted a cottage home just because it just reminds me of just like warmness and good smelling cookies and just happiness and uh, this is the side of the house I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna be going with this house so I feel like I can show y'all uh, one thing also this house looks like the wooden part is being eaten alive by termites you can't see the termites of course but you can see where the holes are at in the house so let's step inside so we walk in it's like this little area a foyer almost. 
with some really good lighting. I'm just looking for that blue. I don't know what that's gonna look, but it's cute. And all the arches are like round pretty much. Another really big window. This is the living room, of course. The kitchen is amazingly updated. And everything is slam proof. How about that? We're gonna come back to outside. So this is the kitchen. Only thing downside about this home, there is no central AC. So that is the downside. Kitchen is super, super nice though. And I like that, but I like that. Walking over here, we just have like a little linen closet. There's not too many doors in here for the closet. I like the bathroom also. Nice and clean. Simple. And then we have two bedrooms. This is the first one. Check out this closet, y'all. They're definitely trying to make it work for people to have an ample amount of space as far as for shoes and clothes to be folded and hung up. Uh, this little backyard outside part, y'all, is super adorable. One downfall. Hello, neighbors. Hello, neighbors. There is no privacy for me. There would be no way. I love this fence. It just goes well, really well with the little cottage home. Washing machine and dryer is through there. Ooh, what a little gecko. What a nizzy. So yeah, this is the house, you guys. Like I said, I do not think I will be attempting to make any um, choices on this home. I don't think I will be trying to make any attempts to live here. He's probably like, oh my gosh, he's following me. <laughs> this house is a thumbs down just because um, the AC unit, I don't like the house on the road and um, I really don't like these neighbors that's gonna be able to peek down on me. One of my sister girl wanna tan outside nude, but that ain't happening. So, yeah, this was the third and last listing. <laughs> so I'm finally on my way home and there's some things that's brewing in the process. Once I finally do finalize on something or even if I'm on a yet another hunt for somewhere to live, I will be doing another vlog. But until then, thank y'all so much for tuning into this vlog on this long journey of me finding somewhere to live. Me not necessarily being picky or choosy, but just knowing how I would like to be comfortable where I could lay my head down at. Um, thank y'all so much for tuning in once more. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, which, well, not which place, because, honey, and you ain't got to comment which place, because, honey, today's selection was
straight trash. I don't even know what that was. Like, I'm not considering living in any of those towns. But <laughs> thank y'all so much. Make sure you also share this vlog. All right, y'all. See y'all later. I got to focus on this road. It's a lot of traffic. Everyday life in Miami. Peace.